Hi friends of golfers, Eric Silver, EGS Golf, EGSGolf.com. Uh, impact bag here. I want to talk to you a little bit about it and the value of it. Um, I'll first off, say some people don't like using these. Why is there a reason? Because our swing doesn't naturally stop right here, right? We swing all the way through. And I'm like, I agree with that. But here's my thing. I have used this and lesson after lesson after lesson, everybody improves with it. Okay, so if you're a golfer, like most golfers out there, and you come like this when you hit the ball, hands almost behind it, weight back, increasing loft in the club, this is great for you. Everybody I see that does that, does this correct. So watch the, I want you guys, I'm just gonna barely do it this way. I'll show you both ways, but I don't have a ton of room. Here, look at the difference here. Now I want you to know, I didn't try to do anything, but look at me. Look how forward my body is, my hips are cleared, club is, my hands are left, club is still out here. And then go like this, okay? So the value of that to me is incredible. Somebody who's never felt where we're supposed to be like that, and they get to do that the first time, um, they're shocked and they love the feel of it. And where do I get an impact bag? It's usually the next, next question. I say go to ejsgolf.com, look for training aids, and you'll get a discount on the one uh, when you order one. Okay, so simple, just get your. I like to do it, I like to say this, especially for those who, if you uh, come over the top, let's try to get this bag rolling a little bit to the right. You don't have to hit this hard, okay? You're seeing how hard I hit it, probably 20%. Um, don't hurt your wrists by doing it too hard, okay? So I put this in about the middle of the bag, okay? Now, I want this to tumble if I have an over the top uh, swing a little bit to the right. For me, I should probably, since I come too much underneath like that, I should probably go get this tumbling left. We'll just kind of get straight edge, I guess. So I'm just gonna bring it back to here and go to there. So look how my hands are hidden. Look where the club is at. The club head's still out here. And I was all the way forward. So if you have never felt that before, that is gonna give you the feeling of what it should feel like when you hit the golf ball. So what I recommend and what I do in my lessons is this. Hit two or three in a row, tee up a golf ball, and do that same thing and try to just feel that same feeling. Okay, and then eventually work it down to a one-to-one -one ratio. One bag, then hit one regular golf ball. Go back and forth, back and forth, do it the whole time. Remember, the way motor patterns work, we have to do something in between our regular swings to drill it into ourselves of what we're trying to do. So we, our mind knows what we're trying to tell the muscles to do and we can store it as a motor pattern. So if we just do a couple swings in a row, you know, without hitting that thing, how does our mind know which one's good, which one's not? It doesn't. We have to reinforce something. And so let's say you do this correct five times in a row. Do you think you have it yet? No, you don't. You need to keep doing it over and over and over we have to build a new motor pattern because your old one's not going anywhere. It's, it's staying in there, okay? So we got to build a new one. Um, so that's the one you go to under pressure and whatever because our new golf swing. Folks, thank you for watching. Eric Schulberg, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you and I appreciate you watching.